Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday morning. Thursday, guys. The Friday is right around the corner. So this morning, we are going to talk about the budget grinder from Solus. Okay, it's called Scala Plus. So this is a budget grinder from actually uh, the Seattle Coffee Gear has a uh, exclusive on this one. So, uh, you know, so this morning I'm going to unbox this and let's pull the shot. Okay. I know this grinder is not made for espresso, but who knows? Okay, who knows? Uh, before we start, a uh, big shout out to Sierra Cuff Gear to send me this years ago. We are talking years ago to uh, check it out on my channel, but I haven't got to it yet until this morning. So I'm going to big shout out to them. Uh, if you go check out the Sierra Cuff Gear, it's on sale right now. Okay, let me uh, show you their, their page. So they're selling for, goodness, on sale for 79 bucks. Okay, so this is a burr grinder. Uh, the, actually, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty good so far looking at the specs. Okay, uh, so this one definitely can do great pour over with this. Okay, definitely you can do pour over. But I know if you guys are watching right now, most likely you guys are interested in espresso, most likely. So, you know what, let's get going, okay, let's unbox this. I, mean, I am very excited because lately we talk about a lot of high-end grinders here. We've been playing with the P64 in that corner. We have a, a Chiado E37S, it's very high-end, okay, those grinders are. And also we have a more affordable DF64 and niche, but 79 bucks, can beat the price, okay. So uh, we are going to check out uh, this budget grinder. And is that really worth buying? I don't know, let's find out, okay. Let's find out about this coffee grinder here because I mean some of hand grinders out there, we are talking hand grinder. They're over 150, two, even some of them are 300. So if a $79 grinder does a good job, boy, you know what? Why spend money? Okay. It's not that heavy, it's about three pounds. Comes with the manual. Looks very, I mean, it looks very simple. Very simple design there. Comes with some, the manual, how to use, travel shoe. It's not bad. By the way, so this is not made for single dosing. Obviously you have to use the hopper. Okay. Give you guys, give you guys a better look here. Okay. The burr grinder right there. Oh, okay. I wonder I can, oh. You know what, this is not, not even locked, okay? You just, yeah, just in and out like this. That's it. There's no locking. Just gonna pull it out there. Very similar to, you know, any other burr grinder. Actually similar to even like Brista Express built-in grinder. Okay. Okay, that's the tray, that's the cleaning tools here, brush. Just like that. Okay. 
Is it made in plastic? Well, you know what? You know, what you pay for is what you get. So coffee is coming from that, that shoe right there. Okay, they got warning on it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's all the codes. You can actually tuck in on the back. Okay. Yeah. Again, this bird is uh, some of my, I mean, a lot of birds I'm used to, they're kind of like lock in, but this one just sit right on the top. Not too bad. Okay, it's, it's, it's fine. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Okay. Okay, so you can do grinder setting like this. So I see. Okay, so this is the finest right here. Change the grinder setting like that. Okay. So they should have 30 different settings. Hold on, go. Here we go. I imagine that is the one. Okay. Uh, if you are, if you guys are just joining us for the first time, uh, we are playing. We just unbox the Salas from actually uh, Scala Plus from Salas. So this is the budget grinder. Uh, you can get it from Seattle Coffee Gear. I imagine this is a time. You know what? Uh, let's plug it in. Okay, let's plug it in. Here is the finest. And you can lift up. Okay. Here is the coarsest right here. And finest. Okay. I think we got this, okay? Okay, the thing is here to start to stop there. Hopper. Let, let's put some coffee beans in. Let's play with it, okay? Come to initial setup is very intuitive. So far, so good. There we go, I got the power cable on. Okay, so this one is just a time, okay, the how long. So right now I, I set a zero. As you can see, if I'm gonna start it, nothing happened. on and off and if you want to I think it is you can just change the time so here's the finest is the closest. 
All right, I'm gonna put some coffees in and see what kind of quality we're gonna get. Should be fun here, guys. I think I'm gonna start with maybe like, let's go to number five, okay. I don't want to <clears throat> use good coffee beans on this one, so let's use the Pete's coffee, okay? You know what? It does a pretty good job. I have to say. Yeah. Not bad, guys. You know what? Let's pull the shot. Why not? Right? So let's try this. I'm not going to use that coffee, but I think I'm going to use my... Yeah, I'm gonna we're going to definitely do the shot here. I'm just going to... Clean this up a little bit. Let, let's do let's do eighteen gram dose, okay, just for fun. Let's do eighteen gram dose here. So this morning I'm gonna try out the coffee beans from Kenya. Let's do 18. So this is more like medium to dark roast. We're gonna do 18 gram here. I got 18.1 gram, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change my grinder size. You know what, let's go even. Even like three, okay? Even three. Even three, C. I got 18 gram here. Let's find out how much it's gonna retain this. So we put 18 gram in. Eighteen gram out guys. Not bad. Okay, I have to say, not bad at all. Okay. So the tricky part is I have to transport to uh goodness. Pull the filter here. Again, so this grinder is not made for espresso, folks. But if you really want to, I don't know, let's find out if this can do espresso. Not bad, okay, as long as if you have dosing funnel, you can actually work it. 
let's do some WDT here. We are using a bottomless portal filter as well, so should be interesting. Okay. So I set a grinder number about three or so. Okay, I think we can go even finer. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's do a quick distribution. And then let's temp it. I'm gonna be using my force temper this morning. Okay. I'm just going to pull the shot, see what kind of shot we're going to get. Okay, you know what? It's not bad. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the grinder? Okay, so right now my grinder sitting around number three right now. I bet you I can go even farther as well. I can go to finest. I think we should be able to get a pretty decent shot out of it. Hold on a second here. Uh, for 70 bucks actually 79 dollars exact okay you can pick that one from Seattle Cuff Gear again so this grinder is not made for espresso but there's more like made for pour over okay and uh, so one before we are at number three I bet you we can go even finer. Okay, we can go even go. You know what? Let's do one more shot. Okay. Let's do one more shot there. Cheers. Okay. No more, uh, one more shot. So I'm going to go all the way to fine. I mean, if you guys just missed it, it comes to retention wise, I put 18.1 18 gram in, I got 18 gram out, so not bad. So we're going to go all the way to fine. Okay. Let's do that one more time here. Uh, we are drinking this morning the coffee beans from Kenya this morning. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do 18 grams one more time. Okay, folks. If you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to our daily live streaming. Okay. You know what, so far, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it, okay? I have to say. I'm just gonna start this. Hold on. Let me give you guys a uh, better view here. You know, I'm just gonna start it first. It is allowed.
Okay. It is loud, but you know what? It works. It does work. So let's do some puck prep here. Do some quick puck prep. Yes, uh, let me know in the comment section what do you guys think so far. I mean, do you guys, I mean, for the budget grinder, it's not too bad. Okay, I have to say. Again, this grinder is not for espresso, uh, it's gonna be great for pour over. For sure. Definitely good for pour over. Comes with static issues. Uh, a little bit of static there, but you know what? It's not a big deal. If you want, you can just use a little brush there. But we are talking about fraction of the gram, so yeah. Give it a quick WDT here. Just quick. So this is like very similar to your Brista Express at home. Yeah, looks pretty good. I'm just going to temp it, okay? I'm just going to temp directly. Okay. So this is pretty much the finest setting. Uh, we are using a uh, medium, actually this is more like medium to dark roast to coffee. Okay, let's pour the, another shot. Okay, here we go, folks. Another shot. Look about 24 seconds. Shot looks good. Okay. Yeah, let me know what are your uh, what your thoughts on this one. Though it comes to channeling wise, it's not too bad. I don't see any channeling there, so a little bit of channeling, but yeah. Yeah. What uh, What do you guys think? Okay. Love to hear your comments. Okay. So again, I mean, if you're just getting into coffee right now, if you're just getting into coffee and if you wanna, if you don't wanna spend too much money, okay, I mean, if you are, if you don't wanna spend too much money, you know what? I'm not sure coffee is thing for me or not. You don't wanna spend hundreds of dollars on coffee grinder. So this budget grinder, I'm looking at 80 bucks, 79 bucks. If you guys are into pour over, fine. Great for pour over. If you want to do some espresso, you have to go to final setting, okay? If you're going to get some kind of, uh, get some shot out of it. You saw lots of crema there. I'm just going to give it a quick taste, okay? Cheers. Okay, it's not the best. Okay, it's not the best. Oh, by the way, so, so this coffee here from Kenya, very nutty, chocolatey, and you know what? I prefer a lighter roast, but those pretty good job. Okay, those pretty good job. 
but I mean, if you want, if you guys are into really lighter roasts, which means Ethiopia or even Geisha, you, you want to get a definitely get a better grinder. But most of us, you know, like milk based drink. You know what? Hold on. You know what? Uh, let's do one more, not the one more shot, but let's make a milk based drink out of it. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Let's make a little latte with this. Let's make a quick latte. Should be fun here. Give it a quick. Just gonna heat up my cup for a second. This leftover espresso. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I have a French vanilla here, vanilla syrup. I'm just going to splash of it. Just felt like a little sweet this morning. Just a little bit. Okay, just tiny bit. Okay, let's try that. So we are doing some vanilla this morning, not uh, my, my usual salted caramel, but okay. Cheers, everybody. Happy Thursday. Wow. The fact is, if you put anything with uh, milk and sugar, tastes wonderful. Okay, it tastes wonderful because uh, this morning, uh, when I was driving by Starbucks this morning, uh, I saw, I counted 15 cars waiting the front of Starbucks, going through the drive-thru, 15 cars. I know for a fact, okay, I know for a fact, my, this latte here, from my budget grinder and my Kenya coffee, is better than, I'm sure better than Starbucks. Cheers. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Okay. So, so let's summarize this. Uh, if you are just joining us just now, uh, we just opened up, uh, it's called Scala Plus from uh, Salas. So this is a budget grinder from Seattle Coffee Gear. Uh, I'm going to big shout out to them. Way overdue. Uh, they sent me this coffee grinder, goodness, almost two years ago. So, but finally get around it. But you know what? I have to say for the price, as you saw, okay, as you saw on this live streaming, the grinder is not too bad, okay, not too bad, okay, so if you guys are in, if you guys just getting into coffee right now, you don't want to spend too much money, uh, so this is, you know, it's not bad, okay, not bad, I have to say. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, if you have any, oh, by the way, uh, make sure to join the live chat, okay, introduce yourself, we have a great group of friends here, the community. We just hang out, talk about coffee. That's about it. 
that that's about it we have a lot of coffee experts so if you have any question about anything uh, you can ask on the chat room someone has answer for you yeah someone has answer for you the Mike has question okay hold on a second Mike has is it worth paying for expensive tools uh, you know what uh, Mike no it's not it's not worth it okay it's not worth paying uh, very expensive tools because goodness I mean it does job okay it does job we are talking about the quality of shots the fact is man you can't even I done so many tests over the years but the, the reason why you want to buy OCD or like even like San Anthony industry I have here like Bravo tempers or force temper I mean so this tools for uh, people like hobbyists okay people like hobbyists like us I mean if your coffee is your hobby so this thing is amazing just fun to play with different tools trying to you know trying to find out you know what's the best method okay but most of us out there you just want to make coffee quick in the morning just get yourself you know ten dollar uh, Amazon tools okay and you should be just fine all right yeah I mean that I mean I mean that's my recommendation but again coffee is your hobby that's a different story people spend a lot of money on your hobbies so uh, compared to that coffee is pretty inexpensive as your hobby but if you just want to make good coffee in the morning you know what because we are talking minutes okay you want to save minutes because you have, get up in the morning take care of your kids or whoever have breakfast make your coffee and go so yeah uh, you know what I mean again my answer for you is depends on coffee is your hobby or not all right so hold on a second here uh, someone asked me do I have a discord I do have discord okay but you know I got lost in there last time so yeah uh, I think I joined actually I did join the uh, espresso aficionado discord so I mean if you guys are into coffee check out those guys they're fantastic yeah I do have a uh, TikTok as well uh, but you know I think I've done I think I'm done with the TikTok guys man TikTok is not as yeah I got lost there as well hold on a second yep okay let's see here. I think we are uh, if you have any questions or comment uh, let me know on the the comment section down below again I mean that I'm pretty surprised with this uh, this budget grinder for 80 bucks 79 bucks that is still cheaper than you know some of those hand grinders out there so let's see here okay someone we are let's see John say something yeah yeah I yeah I am on TikTok I think I post about seven or eight videos on it yeah you know what I don't know okay hold on what else I think so we got a few more things to unbox coming days okay so today's Thursday so we are going to unbox tomorrow morning we're gonna be unboxing this tomorrow morning uh, and uh, I think I have a few more things coming up as well and uh, I do want to uh, unbox this from San Anthony industry so this is a their uh, temper okay so this one is kind of like they want to compete with I don't want to say compete but uh, compete uh, compete with like a uh, Pullman temper Pullman and uh, who else makes tempers like Posado makes tempers as well so yeah so uh, so they're they're pretty good okay I, I seen it on a uh, website so looking forward to share that with you coming days uh, let's, let's see I think it's just in case if you guys have missed it yesterday we just uh, uh, unbox so this is the timer the black mirror nano okay so this is a smaller version of nano uh, black mirror so this is very similar size to Akaya scale as well so we are going to do some uh, comparison coming up because I know a lot of you are very curious about this nano I think I did some preview yesterday morning but yeah I'm really excited to try this one out though because if this is as good as 
Akaya scale, half the price. $200 versus $100. So yeah. But so I got a lot of tests to do. So I think you're gonna, you are going to see me on, uh, you know, pretty much next couple of days. And you're gonna see me, I'm using this. So make sure before, I'm gonna give you guys my full review on it. And that just, you know, I do wanna give it a good chance to it. All right, I think Matthew mentioned about the special leader. Yep, special leader is pretty good coffee grinder. So uh, you're not gonna be disappointed. Let's see here. Okay, I think we are pretty good. Okay. Uh, Dylan asking me, am I going to uh, Instagram live? Depends. Okay, depends on anybody wants to show up your coffee bar this morning. So anyway, uh, if you are new to the channel, I do have an Instagram page. And we go usually live right after my YouTube live. And the Instagram is a lot more casual than this. Don't get me wrong, this is a very casual setting. But my Instagram is more casual. So uh, usually people join us to chat, chit-chatting, you know. We talk about coffee, sometimes food. Just hang out for a few minutes. Uh, that's it. So, uh, hold on a second here. Okay, I think we are pretty good this morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Uh, we might do another session this afternoon. Okay, because I do want to start uh, making, you know, do the live streaming with DF64. We just installed a multi purpose SSP bird set. Okay, so I, I am very curious about is there any difference between DF64 SSP versus P64, guys? Okay, so that's that's big price difference, but inside has SSP birds on it. So it should be a fun comparison coming up, okay, coming up. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday morning, and see you guys on Instagram.